right, so this is going to be for Divine Feminine, the mood of 2020. Stability coming in for Divine Feminine. Okay, okay, Divine Feminine. Taking your time with the Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race with that energy, okay? Anytime we see the Knight of Pentacles, we know that this is something that is meant to last. We also have temperance energy, so I feel like things are being balanced out, okay? So far, we have two major arcanas for you, so we know that there is a major life change going on for you at this time, okay? And let's give the camera some time to focus there on camera. There we go. <laughs> so, yeah, I feel like you guys are going through this transition very very smoothly okay this is not going to be something that is too turbulent okay at all like i said with this knight of pentacles slow and steady is the energy here okay let us pick up some more energy from the astrology deck for divine feminine i am feeling this i also feel like for a lot of divine feminines this is a representation of your masculine coming in to rescue you Ooh, and notice how i said that oh masculine i don't know what that be about <laughs> i don't know ladies but i like that Ooh, whoops, i know so we have libra <laughs> You guys know I'm silly. So we have Libra energy, okay? So it says, this energy is diplomatic and gracious. It seeks harmony and balance in relationships. I really like that. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra or an Aquarius. Ooh, look at all of this air right here. Some of you might even be dealing with a Gemini. I wouldn't be surprised. What is this energy here? Nope, we have Scorpio. So some of you may be dealing with a Scorpio, a Libra, or a Aquarius, okay? That's really interesting. Mm. Okay, some of you may even be a Libra, Scorpio, or an Aquarius, but it says this energy is diplomatic and gracious. It seeks harmony and balance in relationships. You could be, like I said, balancing all areas of your life with, like, with this temperance energy, okay? This could also be a representation of that Libra. Typically, it doesn't represent that for me as a reader, but it could here, right? I can see that with this energy and then the balance here, right? You can see that. Then we also have Scorpio. <clears throat> With this energy and that snake there, I usually get like, you know, buttercream, buttercream, snake skin. No, just kidding. I usually get like, you know, how a snake sheds its skin. So that's how I feel. You guys are going through a shedding of the skin, okay? Maybe some people call it a dark night of the soul, but this is you transitioning, okay? And being so secretive about how you're moving. And I really like this energy, okay? But it says... This energy is intense, masterful, thoughtful, and magnetically charming, but also secretive and possessive, okay? So, ooh, okay? I bet you is possessive. You know who your emperor is. But then we have Aquarius. Be careful with that possessive energy, okay? I was just joking. Don't take it literal, guys. Don't be possessive of anything or anyone. It's not cool. <laughs> but with this Aquarian energy, it says, This energy is freedom-loving, rebellious, idealistic, and technological, okay? I like that. Okay, I'm pretty tech-savvy. So, you know, Aquarius, okay? I can see that there, okay? So, if this is a lot of communication between you and your divine masculine as well, I feel. Once again, spirit is bringing me back to this energy. I just feel back and forth communication, all right, with that blue that they have on and then that yellow. I feel a lot of solar plexus, so I just feel like you and somebody, perhaps a Libra, perhaps an Aquarius, perhaps a Scorpio, know that you're meant to be together, okay? Shit, it, the way I'm feeling divine feminine, some of you could have all of these options, Okay, some of you may have options upon options. Okay, I'm surprised we didn't get the Seven of Cups popping out, to be honest, if that's how we're doing it. But then we have Leo energy here as well, and we have Taurus as well here at the bottom. All right, so I feel like, yeah, a lot of you may just have options. Okay, truthfully, this may be a lot of your signs as well. Some of you may have different natal placements with these things on it. Okay. Also, guys, keep in mind, think of different aspects of these signs, okay? 
What are those things that we need to consider? Taurians usually take their time. Very sturdy energy that they have, right? It says this energy around you shows the abundance of nature. It is rich, earthy, and productive, yet relaxed and slow, right? Do you see those pennies there? Even though those pennies are there, and people may look and say, oh, well, you know, those are just pennies, so it's not much. Well, over time, those pennies develop into something else, right? Something much more than simply pennies, right? And that Leo energy, they have that drive, that ambition, that confidence. Some people say they're too prideful, but is it really a bad thing to have pride, right? It all depends on your perception, I feel, as do all things, right? So it says the energy is flamboyant, dramatic, proud, and passionate. It focuses on the importance of self-belief. You see that? Is it so wrong to believe in yourself? It's all about how you view that, right? The lion, the king of the jungle, is the protector of the jungle. He should be confident, no? So, you know, that's how I feel about that. Librans, they're very balanced and diplomatic, right? They have balance in everything that they do in all areas of their life. So that energy is always good. It can come in handy when it comes to romance and communication and just everything, right? So you can see how all of these energies can be helpful. Doing things behind the scenes to master yourself, to master your craft. All of these things, right? Maybe it can be just having different aspects of those things about yourself. But overall, let's get into... <clears throat> what the moon has to say right this energy is really really nice and so this is just a freebie you guys i was just moved to do something different um as spirit has been just moving me in a different direction i'm just moving okay so <clears throat> i suggest you guys do the same if spirit is moving you to do something just surrender to whatever it is to avoid any tower moments <clears throat> okay so we have take time to breathe out like I said, that slow and steady, masterful, mastering my craft type of energy, okay? I really like that. <clears throat> Take time to breathe out. Had to do it on the camera with you guys, right? So it says, expect powerful change. Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse, we are in that energy right now. As you guys know, it um, sticks around for three to five days after. Okay, so we are, what, only a day after? Yeah, we still have that energy. So we also have conclusions are within reach. Okay, so by the time we get to that full moon eclipse, after we pass this new moon eclipse period, we will have our conclusions. Okay, so it's just a matter of us taking a matter to breathe. I feel like there is so much power in the lungs, you guys. We don't give it as much uh, credit as I feel like it actually deserves. Okay, our breath holds so much power. You know, our existence is powerful in itself so just us breathing alone is powerful all right but it says show the world the real you that aquarian energy that star like power right like i just said you know just by you simply breathing my love okay and then it says meditate and contemplate yet again just by you simply breathing my love okay what do we have at the bottom Believe in the impossible. <laughs> blue moon. Here on Blue Aura. Look at that. Sorry, guys. Yep, the camera angle. But like I said, this was a bonus. I'm going to put that down there for y'all. Look at that. <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoyed this message. I know I did. This was really, really nice. And I know all of my sisters, my Divine Feminines, my Soul Fam, I know you guys appreciate all of the gems that I do. So I hope you guys really appreciate this. And I hope you um, have a good evening. I'll speak to you all some probably tomorrow. More than likely tomorrow. <laughs> Peace and hair grease.